Hi, Serenity Foya Opal here. I would like to start this video by addressing a few elephants in the room. Firstly, the virus. Yeah, that virus. Um, I've been personally avoiding pretty much any media outlet regarding it because I'm pretty sure I have some form of generalized anxiety, which of course will only be made worse by engaging in that which makes even the general public anxious. Um, I wash my hands after I come home and I'm an essential worker so I don't have to worry about quarantining or anything like that. Uh, I've heard though that people at my job are not showing up to work even though they are also required. Now what is it that I do that's so important? Hmm, let me think. I am the middleman for supplying the food to the stores. I am one of the people that work at a warehouse which stores food for the masses. I'm not going to go into too much detail about my actual position because it's a little complicated. But yeah, people need to eat, even people in quarantine. So yeah, I'm just a... A little important. Hmm. So the next thing I want to address is why do I go so long between uploads? I am not very good at keeping a schedule. That's that's pretty uh been, pre been made pretty obvious over these uh <laughs> over this while this long while. Um. Oh right, actually, it's not just that that I don't draw a lot or have a lot to make. It's more that these past couple of months I've been working on a new fiction story, which for obvious reasons will not be shared here, for the month of mental health awareness, which begins on May 1st and ends on May uh, 31st. Yes, that thing. It's an exploration into something that's very personal to me and has actually struck in some fear in me. And once you uh, once you read it, and I'm going to announce it on my DeviantArt page, which I will link in the description below, and it will be produced in segments, chapters, whatever you want to call it, because it is actually longer than what I anticipated it was going to be. So I'm breaking it down into sections. Um, It'll be released over the course of the month of May. So that's part of what's, that's a lot of, that's actually a big chunk of what's been taking up most of my time since my last upload. And then a third slightly smaller issue is why doesn't my last deviation, as you can see on my DeviantArt account, the um, head shot of the blue deer, why doesn't it have its own speed paint? Well, first and foremost, I slapped it together in kind of an hour, and about the week or two prior to that, I was struggling to figure out what would even make it look good. What angle, what um, style, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I, uh, what I mean to say is you realize after a while that when you start having to fidget with something, you start struggling with the overall design and the aesthetic and all this other extra stuff, you, you kind of figure out that um, re speed painting, uh, sorry, screen capping that would not be interesting because you have no, no prior design in mind. You don't know what's going to work. I mean, yeah, it would be some good insight to how my mind puts things together, but I don't feel comfortable sharing that particular part of my working process because it's it's a little too intimate I think it's almost like looking inside of my soul it's like I don't I don't want you to see that those all those rough sketches I want you to see the beginning of my final design that's all I want you to be allowed to see anything else is is uh is just scraps scraps so that's on that's that on that all the stuff that's been on my mind since my last upload. So now that that's out of the way, let's get on with the drawing. So right out the gate, you can already see that I started off with the sketch already almost completed. Um, that's kind of because I forgot that I was even doing speed paints for a minute there. 
and so thankfully I remembered just in time to capture the last bit of that sketch and begin the line art. Line art's the same as it's always been. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Control Z, draw it again, Control Z, draw it again. Uh, you can see two references up in the corner there, the horse and the actual character I'm drawing, which is also a horse. I think it was designed just for the April Fool's prank. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the anatomy is on that thing, so I just kind of went with the general idea of what I think the original designers were going for and made his pink neck thing into a more of a feather boa. I think some people went in the in the mane direction, as in like a lion's mane, and stuff like that. Um, the snail appeared to be very versatile, um, appearing on many different body parts. In this case, I put mine on the, the rump. And the rest of it was kind of built off of references. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cut and dry, uh, what they call drawing. I had to use a couple more references from the web, but I did not put those inside the actual drawing itself because they were so simple to look at. Like the banana peels, oh, it folds this way instead of that way. I just need like two seconds to look at it. And I can figure out the rest myself. So that was actually fairly easy. The only hard part was making sure the angles were believable. I think I could have worked on the hand that is still in the air. It's taking a small step forward with what is that? The, the left the left hoof, or lack of hoof, whatever you want to call it. The left front paw thing. The warp tool was nice. Hmm. It's okay. I, if I had actually cared more about this drawing, I would have definitely spent more time on shading and making it look more believable than it eh, does. Uh, the hand especially. But, uh, you know, for the badge, for the honor of the badge. And there's my reference to a snail. So the sketch is my memory of a snail, but I want to make sure that I make it like a real snail. The spiral in the correct direction and overlapping on the correct body parts, etc., etc. As far as I could tell, this, what was his name? Hoofs with an F. F as in Foxtrot. I know it's hard to hear those letters. It has only one wing one small, pathetically blue wing. Oh, it was a hell of a time getting that color palette going, though. But I eventually broke it down. Um, so not, not a drawing I spent a whole lot of time on. About an hour and a half in total. Um, standard stuff here. I use one layer for all the coloring. I think I'm gonna start leaning towards making multiple layers for the line art since I know that they can overlap in so many different ways now that I'm experimenting with how I was going to make his this this bizarre creature's different body parts. So that's probably going to be my next move in my next drawing, speed paint or no speed paint. I will start um, doing that thing where you use multiple layers instead of just making one and thinking that everything will be all right. I'm still okay with using one layer for color since um, I'm very heavily leaning on line art. So I don't rely on uh, uh, realism quite as much as other artists might. So I don't need a gazillion layers for my colors, but I'm thinking I'm gonna start needing about a gazillion layers for my actual line art because there's so many different parts of anatomy and uh, props and characters and stuff that could really, you know, use their own layer. In this case, though, I did use one extra coloring layer for one particular shade of brown that I wanted to be able to play with a little better without having to mess up the drawing too much from its original um, imagining. <clears throat> yeah, so if I had taken an extra two seconds, that bow wouldn't be nearly as brown as it is red. Um, so, we're almost done here. His name is Hoofs. Happy April Fool's Day. And that's that on that. While you enjoy the actual final product, let's give a little bit of background that I didn't already provide. We know now that it is April Fool's prank from DeviantArt. His name is Hoofs. And the journal entry, which I will link in the description below, talks about how if you make 
or share any fan art of this character, you will be banned from the site. Ooh. Uh, spoiler alert, nobody got banned. It's April Fools. <laughs> That's just silly. So of course I had to draw it. Um, the uh, journal went on to say, You may experience a glitch. That you'll receive some weird little badge or something. I don't remember exactly what it said. It's like, well, obviously that's a reference towards receiving a badge just for drawing it. And boy, you should have seen some of those just for the badge drawings. Like, you got your artists that spend like five hours on a drawing, and then it comes out like a freaking photograph. And you have people like, I'm not going to name anybody because I don't want to call them out, but let's just say they drew the horse with MS Paint and the circle tool, and that was it. No colors, no line art, just him. MS Paint and the Circle Tool. Uh, it was something. It was something. I'm not even going to share it. I really, really don't want to call them out. Well, that's it on all of that. I hope everybody's having a good time with their quarantine and or essential business employment. And until next time, keep drawing those drawings and scribble those scribbles.